What's going on, guys? Wizards lose to the Memphis Grizzlies, four to one and six. And I mean, what can you say? Is I feel like everybody's kind of at a point where you go through, you know, the anger and the, the sadness period, and then you just get to the acceptance period. Now, Friday against the Thunder. Dwight Howard is supposed to make his debut for the team. When Dwight Howard comes back, I'm giving his team 10 games. And if nothing changes in that 10 game span, you got you got to blow it up. You you got to. You got to make a move. And if the Wizards were to blow it up, you, you got to start with Ernie Grunfeld. You got to you got to get him out of there. I mean, he's had how many decades of how many in what two different eras? The arena era and now the wall era of just mediocrity and nothing to show for it. So, because if you want to rebuild the Wizards, you can't do it with Ernie Brownfield as your GM. We're gonna we gonna be in 20, 2025 debating the same stuff, you know, with another franchise player or whatnot out of the lottery and we gonna be saying he don't got this or Ernie put that put together another horrible roster down the line. So if if the Wizards were to blow it up, you gotta start work, Ernie Grunfield. You gotta fire him, Ted. Simple as that. But as far as the game goes, um John was turning the ball over a lot. He was really turning the ball over. Um it's what bad as bad as the Wizards have been they weren't really turning the ball over that much. This game was different. They turned the ball over a lot. And that's bad. Um, third quarter, the Grizzlies went on a run. The Wizards could make a shot. They brought it back in the fourth, but I mean I wasn't getting my hopes up. I know how I know how it goes. The Wizards make a little run. And then they can't defend anymore. And then the opposite team goes on another run and puts the game away. That's how it usually goes. <sighs> It's not much I can really say about this team that everybody don't already know. I mean, what is there different to say about the Wizards' play than the other games outside of the Portland game? It's been the same thing, you know? It's missing shots, um, not defending. They have one little span where they tighten up defensively. I mean, what? how much more different... What, how much more difference is it between the games? I can't say much. A uh, bad team is a bad team. And I don't know where you go from here. They say Scott Brooks ain't on the hot seat, but if Dwight Howard come back and they still trash, I feel like that, that tone is going to change real quick. I feel like the, the front office is waiting until this team is 100% again and seeing how it look. And if it still look bad, then they ain't going to have a choice. You know? So, I don't know, man. Um, they play Oklahoma City Friday night. Their schedule is not that bad. They 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 got a little, the rest, the West Coast um, longest trip of the year out the way. It didn't, you know, end up like how we wanted to. But I'm going to end this on some optimism. You know, we get Dwight back. Maybe we start playing better ball. And we get, we get on a little win streak. You know, it's one, it's one, it's one and six. It's not the NFL. We don't got 16, 17 games or whatnot. You know, it's a lot of games left. Who knows? So we'll see. Um, Friday, I'll be back with the review. Hopefully, the Wizards will come out with a W because the fan base need it. I mean, they really do. It's, it's bad right now. And that's all.